Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this is my third video. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare my hair for a flat twist out. Um, I've been trying over the past couple of weeks to really, really perfect this. Um, the fir very first time I did it, I did it in the shower, completely in the shower. My hair was soaking wet, but it came out very, very nice. However, I don't have the time to do that and I would like to do it in a way in which I don't have to be in the shower, hot, humid, and running water. And so today what I'm going to do is similar to both times that I tried it. Um, my hair is wet. I've dried it somewhat with a Convert cotton towel and then we're going to take it and just I don't want to add any more moisture to it. I want to use the Shea Moisture. Um, it's going to be my only tool that I'm going to use. Um, so this is also going to tell me how this works for my hair. Um, I love the smell of it. But to me it smells like something I've smelled before. And I just, I really can't put my finger on what it is. But I bought it today. They had it here in Grandpaville, Geriatricville. I was like, oh my gosh, so let me get this because next week it'll be off the shelf, like just how it works. Um, I'm going to use very sim simple tools, nothing probably at all but my fingers and my hands. Um, I don't like parting when I do twists because I don't want a definite um, or a defined part. I just think that it doesn't look natural when you have a defined part. So I'm just going to go ahead and start now. I may not talk. You may not hear from me, but you're supposed to be watching anyway. So who cares? All right, here we go. And from here back is the section that is really, really dense for me. Um, so that's what I, I'm trying to combat is the denseness. I found that when I was just doing it in the shower that I would um, twist in the front and it would come out really, really nice. And then the back, even though they were small twists, would still come out um, very rugged. And kind of, it, was, it just kind of looked like a wash and go and I felt like I wasted, wasted time on the back of my hair. Um, this is still a little damp, not a hundred. Okay, what was that? Um, not a hundred. Okay, loose piece of hair. Not a hundred percent dry, but dry enough that it probably would dry like this. Okay. Um, this side. Let me see. I'm not gonna redo that one. This one was just very, very bulky. Okay, so now we're going to do the twist in the back, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. So that it's not um, too bulky or too messy. I've done the braid out and I didn't really, like it'll come out looking like this, which which is fine, you know, if that's your thing, you know. Um, comes out looking like that, which I like, but I want more definition. So this half is the half that I'm getting ready to work on now. Um, so... I'm just going to figure, figure out something. I guess I should turn around because you really don't want to see me. Huh? All And again, I really don't want to use any clips of any sort. Kind of just want to do it without the clip and take my time with it. Uh, so now that we have the comb, I'm just going to detangle it again. I did detangle in the shower, but just for housekeeping purposes, just make sure it's detangled. Detangled again. All right, so holding on to the end. Um, not sure how much to use, so I pretty much took probably like a quarter size amount. I love doing this, I just feel like so YouTube ish doing that. So I'm gonna put it on my entire hand, get a love the smell, run it through the entire section, get all of it off my hand. And I do this with any product that I put on. I want it in my hair, not on my hands. It's 
not supposed to be on my hands. It's supposed to be in my hair. Okay, so now I'm gonna bend a little bit, hopefully, you see. And I'm just gonna two strand flat twist here. And I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Uh-oh. And that's why I guess this works so much better for me in the shower is because the slip in the shower is like, oh, yes, low. Whereas now I'm kind of struggling to do this. And I don't want to pull too much. Uh, I'm going to detangle it a little bit because I can feel it getting tangled up in there. Go back and feel, make sure I've gathered all the proper parts. And I keep feeling me grab hair from the section right next to it, so I just have to be super careful. Now see this is this is a section that is getting really really dense for me and my hair is not thick whatsoever but um this is the section that really usually is like just does not come out too nice. Okay again I'm detangling I hope I'm where you guys can see and I took a probably not much that time but um again all on my hair I don't want you on me and now I'm right here I'm gonna turn so you can actually see I'm right here at the end make sure I've grabbed the correct hair and I'm gonna take a little less than half like three quarters and a fourth Again, three quarters and a fourth, and separate it so that it looks like I'm getting ready to braid it because that's the, actually what I want to do. Oh, this is real confusing because I can't see and I don't know what I'm grabbing. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just going to braid it just like that. Taunt, not tight. Separate any extra hair. And I'm going to stop right here, flip it over, get my comb, make sure my ends are still detangled. And I'm pulling just a little bit to help straighten. Just a little bit to straighten. And you will see that my hair does not curl like a lot of people's hair. Um, my end will stay straight. So what I would do now is once I finish braiding, then I'll go back and wet my ends and then my end will twirl just a little bit, not much, but enough to where I feel like, oh, it did a little curl. Okay, so now I have this section which will go much easier and then I'll pause the tape, finish my hair, and I'll come back when I'm on to the front. Okay. So, I'm gonna do two sections of detangling this time. Um, just for safekeeping. I don't wanna take too much hair and then you can't um, detangle it nicely. Okay, stop. that? Mm, that didn't work too well. Okay. And thank you. Alright. And this is my hair. I'll come a little closer so you can see. Already it's very condensed. But elongated. Let's see. So again, it's 
falling off. But um, my YouTuber move. Okay, um, it's about a quarter on the hands condition. I want all of it on my ends predominantly and work my way to the top. This color, I tell you, it, I'm so ready for it to go, but I don't want to, um, I don't want to color my hair again. Every time I go into the hairdresser, she's like, oh my God, it's so dry. And I'm like, I know who you're telling. I'm the one who has to deal with you all the time. You only see me once every couple weeks. Um, just, I can feel the difference in texture between the colored hair and my hair. Okay, getting ready to strand twist now. Turning around. Well, not two strand twist, but flat twist. All right, this one will go much smoother, simply because I'm not trying to fight against another block of hair. And I always go to the end and detangle it because that helps to keep the hair organized really just and run my fingers through each one okay it's feeling good i thought about doing another hairstyle but um i have to think about it enough think about how to perfect it but I'm um, I don't know how this will turn out tomorrow because I'm just using the Shea Moisture give me a second I gotta detangle but um who's to say it won't be nice who's to say it will be nice but I know what it will be moisturized hmm I got two little strands over here whatevs And again, I get to the nape of my neck and it's like dense city. I don't know what's up with that. But I'm hoping that it'll be a bit more defined because I am. All right, so now that I'm at the end, and I sure hope you can see this. Now I'm at the end, did the whole two strand flat twist here. I'm going to take a dime size amount this time straight to the ends only on the ends all on my hair none on me all right three quarters one fourth three quarters and one fourth create three sections and start braiding down taunt not tight still all right got a little bit i'm going to detangle some more i can feel it's a bit bit rugged all right and then this color doesn't help either because it just makes my ends a bit more difficult and flip over Ooh, a little close to the thing there and work my way down and again my ends aren't going to curl so don't look for it Um, let me see which way go. Again, they okay. um a little curl formulated there. Not really. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm gonna finish. Let's see what's on this one. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a bulb there. You're not gonna be able to see it, but um. That one has a bulb, so it's from the scalp, just was hanging on somewhere. Someone told me to get the tangle teaser, but 